Vascular pain. Vascular pain. Vascular pain is a serious disease that affects millions of people every year. Such pain can be chronic, acute or subacute and can vary in severity from mild to debilitating. The cause of pain is not always clear, although it can often be the result of vascular abnormalities in which blood vessels do not function properly and blood flow is obstructed. When this happens, the tissues, organs, or nerves in this area may be adversely affected. However, there are many other possible causes of this type of pain that can make it difficult to treat this condition. It is important for patients to consult with trained vascular specialists to determine the appropriate treatment method for their specific symptoms and general health. What is vascular pain? Vascular pain is discomfort caused by circulatory problems. If you experience unexplained pain or heaviness in your legs, it may be vascular pain. It usually affects the shins or ankles, although it can also affect the arms or hands. Another name for the vascular pain that affects your legs is vascular lameness. Vascular pain in the hands is less common, but it still affects about 1 in 10 people with vascular pain. How does vascular pain feel? Vascular pain is often felt as an unpleasant heaviness or throbbing sensation. It can also feel like a nagging sensation. It usually affects the legs and can get worse when walking or exercising. Who experiences vascular pain most often? People with vascular diseases most often experience vascular pain. Vascular diseases are more common in adults over the age of 50 and people who, pregnant. The presence of a family history of vascular diseases. You are obese. Have other diseases affecting the blood vessels, such as diabetes or high blood pressure, hypertension. Lead a sedentary, inactive, lifestyle. Sit or stand for a long time. Causes of vascular pain. There are several different vascular diseases that can lead to pain and other alarming symptoms, including coronary heart disease, peripheral artery disease, rupture of the vessel, problems with blood circulation, spasms of blood vessels, vasculitis, ischemia, traumatic injuries. The sources of vascular pain can be diagnosed using a number of tests, including blood tests and visual examinations such as venography, ultrasound, computed tomography and echocardiogram. Symptoms of vascular pain. Patients with vascular diseases may experience pain or heaviness in the affected area, most often in the legs, since blood circulation in this area takes the longest path and involves blood flow against gravity. In addition to pain, patients with vascular diseases may experience numbness, weakness, or tingling all symptoms of a lack of proper blood circulation. These symptoms may appear and disappear depending on the type and severity of each patient's individual condition as well as on the activity performed but of course they can interfere with normal daily life symptoms of vascular pain usually occur after prolonged periods of sitting or standing in the same position treatment of vascular pain depending on the condition of each patient various treatments may be recommended to alleviate symptoms and treat underlying diseases even if vascular pain is not severe it can be a sign of a serious vascular disease such as arteriosclerosis or even deep vein thrombosis and therefore it should be treated seriously there are many methods of treating vascular pain in the mildest cases lifting the legs when possible and wearing compression stockings may be sufficient medications such as anticoagulants are also often effective in restoring normal blood flow however many patients may need additional treatments for vascular pain how to relieve vascular pain vascular pain can disrupt your daily activities but there are several steps you can take to deal with the pain including exercise regularly giving aerobic exercise exercise at least 150 minutes a week get up and move or stretch at least once an hour during the working day especially if you have a sedentary job wear compression stockings especially if you stand for a long time or travel on a long trip compression stockings are special socks that provide gentle pressure on the ankles and feet escher on the ankles and feet prevention how to reduce the risk of vascular pain you can reduce your risk of developing certain vascular diseases through a number of simple lifestyle changes which may include weight loss, quitting smoking, exercising regularly, avoiding standing for long periods, and keeping your legs in an elevated position whenever possible. Compression underwear also helps to maintain normal blood flow and avoid swelling of the extremities, which can often be caused by vascular diseases. Active treatment of any concomitant diseases, such as diabetes, which may increase the risk of vascular diseases. About the disease of the peripheral arteries, legs. What is it? Peripheral artery disease is a condition of the blood vessels supplying blood to the legs and feet. It occurs due to narrowing of the arteries in the legs. This leads to a decrease in blood flow, which can damage nerves and other tissues. Reasons. 
Peripheral artery disease is usually caused by atherosclerosis. This problem occurs when fatty material, plaques, accumulates on the walls of the arteries and makes them narrower. The walls of the arteries also become stiffer and cannot expand, expand, to provide more blood flow when needed. As a result, the leg muscles cannot receive enough blood and oxygen when they work harder, for example, during exercise or walking. If the disease of the peripheral arteries becomes severe, there may not be enough blood and oxygen, even when the muscles are resting. Peripheral artery disease is a common disease. It most often affects men over the age of 50, but it can also occur in women. People are at higher risk if they have a history of the following. Abnormal cholesterol levels in the blood. Diabetes. Heart disease. Ischemic heart disease. High blood pressure. Hypertension. Kidney disease associated with hemodialysis. Smoking. Stroke. Cerebrovascular disease. Symptoms. The main symptoms of peripheral artery disease are pain, aches, fatigue, burning or discomfort in the muscles of the feet, calves or thighs. These symptoms most often appear during walking or exercise and disappear after a few minutes of rest. At first, these symptoms may only occur when climbing a mountain, walking fast, or walking long distances. Over time, these symptoms appear faster and with less physical exertion. Your legs or feet may feel numb when you are at rest. The feet may also feel cool to the touch, and the skin may look pale. When peripheral artery disease becomes severe, you may have impotence, pain and cramps at night, pain or tingling in the feet or toes, which can be so severe that even the weight of clothes or sheets becomes painful. The pain increases when you lift your legs and decreases when you hang your legs off the bed. The skin looks dark and blue. Ulcers that don't heal. Care. To control peripheral artery disease, the following can be done. Balance exercise with rest. Walk or engage in other activities until it hurts and alternate it with rest periods. Over time, blood circulation may improve as new small blood vessels form. Always consult your doctor before starting an exercise program. Quit smoking. Smoking narrows the arteries, reduces the ability of the blood to carry oxygen and increases the risk of clots, blood clots and emboli. Take care of your feet, especially if you have diabetes. Wear shoes that fit you. Pay attention to any cuts, scratches or injuries and consult a doctor immediately. Tissues heal slowly and are more prone to infection with reduced blood circulation. Make sure your blood pressure is well controlled. If you are overweight, reduce it. If you have high cholesterol, follow a diet low in cholesterol and fat. If you have diabetes, monitor your blood sugar level and keep it under control. Prevention. There is no screening test recommended to identify PAD in patients without symptoms. Some of the risks for artery disease that you can change are not smoking. If you do smoke, quit. Controlling your cholesterol through diet, exercise, and medicines. Controlling high blood pressure through diet, exercise, and medicines, if needed. Controlling diabetes through diet, exercise, and medicines, if needed. Exercising at least 30 minutes a day. Keeping to a healthy weight by eating healthy foods, eating less, and joining a weight loss program, if you need to lose weight. Learning healthy ways to cope with stress through special classes or programs, or things like meditation or yoga. Limiting how much alcohol you drink to one drink a day for women and two a day for men. 